Hey everybody, it's Lisa Miller, the counselor here at Start View. Pull actually one of the counselors. Um, our other counselor's name is Sue. Many of you guys have been talking to her already. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different that I'm kind of excited about. The video is going to be shorter. I'm sure you're happy about that. Um, but let me just say first, I hope everybody's doing well uh, in this time of craziness and uh, everybody's nervous, feeling a little anxious. Do try to do things to keep your anxiety down and don't dwell on the current situation. That's the most important. If you sit there and watch the news over and over again for 12 hours a day, you're going to have anxiety, period. So turn it on, get informed, and then turn it off and um, go do something else. All right, I'm not going to harp on that. We already talked about that last time I did a video. Uh, what we're going to do today is a little bit different. And so I'm going to have you guys do an assignment. It is not, we're not going to kick you out of the program if you don't do it, but I think it would be very beneficial for each one of you guys to fill this out. So I'm going to show you what it is. And so I'm going to go over it with you today very briefly. And then after the video is over, you're going to be able to click on a link and you're going to be able to complete yours and personalize it for you and submit it back if you'd like us to take a look. Um, I would encourage all you guys to go ahead and um, use this tool, okay? This is what my job is as a counselor, to provide you extra tools so that you can reach the goal of recovery like you want to. All right. There's four questions that you're going to ask about your addiction. This is called basically a cost and benefit worksheet. All right. In the first section, I'm just going to explain every section so that if you're filling it out and you forget what one of them means, you can go back to this video and kind of gain a better understanding of what you're supposed to put in those spots. All right, so the first square is, what do I enjoy about my addiction? And you're probably thinking like, well, what do you mean, what do I enjoy about it? Obviously, I didn't enjoy it if I'm trying to stop it. But the truth of the matter is, is that every addiction is enjoyable in some way. So as humans, if you are continuing a certain behavior, you are obviously getting something back out of it. That's just the way we are made. Humans are not going to continue to do something if they're not getting a benefit out of it. Okay? So, what, what does it do for you, basically? Um, how does it make your life better? Alright? So that's the first square. The second one next to it, on the top here, to the right, is... What do I think I will like about giving up my addiction? So that's pretty simple. How is your life going to be different? How is your life going to be made better by giving up your addiction? What additional things are you going to have in your life that maybe you didn't have when you're in active addiction? And we all know what a lot of those are, right? That one should be really easy for you to fill out. All right, the third one is what do I hate about my addiction? Um, there's got to be something bad about it or you wouldn't be in treatment. Okay, so all the bad things that you hate about your addiction. Um, not only you, what the things that it does to you, but what does it do to others. Okay, so that's in this box right here. The bad things that you don't like about the addiction. Um, what it did to you, what it's caused for you, your relationships, your jobs. You can enter into every aspect of your life in there not just you, okay? Because does the addiction just affect you or you might be the core person, but then maybe it'll affect your wife and somehow it'll affect your children. Even if you weren't directly there with your children, your wife is gonna be impacted, therefore she might interact with the children differently. So it's kind of like a domino effect that goes on. All right, the last square that you're gonna complete is says, what do I think I won't like about giving up my addiction? Wow, that's a pretty cool question, right? Like, there's probably thoughts in your head of what you're not going to like about being clean and sober. Um, what am I going to hate to do or dread to do? Maybe you're going to, you feel like you're going to hate to go to a meeting or you're going to hate being held accountable um, or just living without that. Uh, I feel bad and I want to you know, not feel bad, so that instant gratification. So those are the things you're going to fill out. Um, you can resubmit it back. I would love to take a look at them and um, even personally call you and go over it with you if you would like that. You can put a little note on there for me. Um, 
yeah, I'm super excited about doing this. We're going to be doing more lessons like this, less talking from Miss Miller, and more work for you. Because um, a lot of times when you read and write something, it goes in your mind a lot better than just sitting here listening to me talk. So I'm really excited. We we'll tell you guys to have a nice Easter, but in whatever capacity that you can at this time, enjoy the family that's in your household, cook a nice dinner, and just hang out. This too shall pass. Don't dwell on the negative of the situation, okay? We're all going to come through this. We are here. If you have any questions, um, call me. Call Sue. And we hope to see you guys soon. Peace.